So it's about 12 months since I first uh, unboxed this particular lawnmower. Just giving you a quick re review of, uh, of where I found myself in 12 months. Um, all in all, I'm reasonably happy with it. It's a pretty st sturdy unit, but there are some issues coming out of it after 12 months of, of use. What I like is that it's quite compact. Um, you know, I can pack it away in my shed, folds up really, really quickly and in, into a tight spot. I don't have a lot of room in the shed there. Uh, this little um, back is, is good. It catches only a small quantity of grass. If, the, if it was any bigger, it would be a bit too hard to push given the size of the lawnmower. And clicks on pretty sturdily onto the back here. Um, the one thing that I really don't like, I, I catch the grass when I do the lawn mowing in the front, but I don't like catching the grass in the back, and there's no um, way to hold the, the catcher on the back open here. Um, so there's a spring, a spring latch on there, so what I basically have to do is jimmy something in there so that the grass can fly out, otherwise the grass um, gets stuck uh, quite quickly and jams up underneath the rope underneath the um, rotary uh, blade underneath. Um, so that's a little bit of a drawback with this unit. And the other thing is I've, I've noticed only a year on, on the bottom when I ran it last time, uh, is that as the, as, the, as the blade rotates around, the chassis, the chassis has, has warped a little bit. It seems to be rotating okay now. I, I gave the chassis a bit of a shake out last time I used it, but um, we'll see how it operates today. So I'll, all I'll be doing today is uh, doing the front lawn. Um, so I'll run that through and see how it comes up and also doing the, the front verge as well and run it out the back. And generally speaking I just managed to get uh, two batteries worth of juice out of it before it starts conking out. So pretty quick setup just through the, the back on and um, set up the handlebars really really quick. Uh, all you do is to grab the handle and press the, the the little uh, safety switch and it should start up. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a while to start up. Uh, it may just be that I haven't put the batteries in. Alright, so my son's had a bit of a go at the front. He's done a reasonably good job and I've just cleaned up a little bit, a couple of the patches that he's missed. Um, you can see here, I don't know whether you can see on the profile there, it does a reasonable cut. Obviously it doesn't get right up to the edges, I do need to clean up the edges. And I normally do that with a manual tool. Um, the lawnmower itself, it's a little bit covered in a snowball flower plant. Um, you see for this particular space here, it's got through pretty quickly. Um, and it's probably done, it's probably filled up one, um, one um, box or, or tray of of uh, grass clippings and then I'll empty that and do the front first now. Okay so I'm out the back here I'm going to really give this uh, lawnmower a crack. I've pushed it up to the second highest level here on, on 55 to make sure that if I run it too low it really does get jammed. I guess my biggest, biggest complaint is that I can't hold the, the uh, back shoot open when I don't have when I'm not collecting. Uh, it tends to jam up the machine a little bit. But look I'll, I'll show you how it works and it does, it does a pretty good job for an electric engine. So this is my backyard, it's really started to grow quite lushly in the last couple of weeks because the rain's been quite heavy and the springs and the warm weather's really brought out the grass. Uh, as, as you can see from the video, I've had a bit of a run at the, at the tough area. As long as you've got um, at, at the right level, it's the second from the highest. I don't have the catching basket on either. It, it seems to do an alright job. You could see uh, during the, the video that at times it stalls when it goes through the through the longer area, but for what it is and the, and the power that it's generating and the quality of the product, I think um, it's pretty good bang for its buck. I can see that the actual, I'd be very surprised that uh, it meets the end of its five year uh, warranty period, but after a year's worth of work, work, I'm pretty happy with it, um, particularly for the budget and money I've paid for. 
um, and it's it's doing the job um, for the size of my backyard. If I did it every week, I think uh, I'd quite easily get through just with the with two batteries without without having to charge. But it's just uh, getting on top of it and uh, being regular and routine with it to keep the grass down above above what it is now. It's, it's getting to a bit of a jungle state out here, so uh, I'll keep on keep on it and see how we go. So it's doing pretty well. The major complaint, as I mentioned before, there's no way to prop up the back of this um, uh, basket catcher connection. And what tends to happen is if you're trying to mow without the basket, uh, the, the actual engine gets uh, clogged up because it's got nowhere to shoot out the grass. So ideally you just need to try and prop that open, but then you have the, the grass flying out on you. So it just means stopping and starting and clearing out the back, which is a bit of a frustration. So I think there could be a bit of a, a design issue. Uh, here with this particular model where they could have an option with basket on and basket off. I don't like having the basket on out the back when uh, there's a lot more grass to get through because otherwise I'm spending half my life uh, trying to get a small basket, emptying a small basket out to the green bin out the front. Um, but other than that, pretty good.